We now, of course, have an ongoing operation. And whilst we currently believe there was only one attacker, I'm sure the public will understand us taking every precaution in locking down and searching the area as thoroughly and exhaustively as possible. Four people are dead and more than 40 injured in London after an attacker used his car as a weapon before brutally attacking a nearby police officer. Police did shoot in the, and kill the attacker, but his identity is not being released at this time. Police are treating this as a terrorist attack. Good evening, I'm Nick Petrini. And I'm Logan Wilson. While that's happening overseas, more than 90 students from Ithaca College are studying abroad in the city of London. WNY's Isabel Garcia spoke with one student who was near the attack when it all went down. Isabel. Nick, Logan, Kayla Tyler is from Horseheads and she's been in the United Kingdom now for more than two months. Earlier tonight, I spoke to her about what she saw when the attack was unfolding. It was just a normal day. There are groups of tours and students walking around down by Big Ben and seeing all the sights. Um, and then all of a sudden, it was just this somber mood came over everyone um, when we heard what had happened. And, and again, it's just that fear of the unknown. Kayla says she had just walked past the Houses of Parliament not five minutes before getting alert on her phone of the horror which had occurred. Kayla recalls a lot of confusion at the time, but a quick response from police while they themselves were trying to figure out the scale of the situation. They immediately shut down the tube stations that were surrounding to make sure that no one left the area. And they were moving people into buildings nearby or back into the stations to make sure that nobody was out and about. Um, they kept the tubes closed for a while just to make sure that they were able to search all of the nearby areas and figure out what exactly had happened. Um, at the time, obviously, they weren't sure if it was just one attack, a single attack, or if there was going to be, you know, others around, if it was more than a person. So they really did do everything they could to lock down the area and make sure that everything was safe before everyone was allowed to resume uh, their daily activities. Kayla says her and other students from Ithaca College were notified immediately. Right, as soon as everything happened, we all got an email, um, and then we were actually with one of our professors who was with us, so she got a phone call from the campus, uh, who, you know, they went through and made sure that everyone was accounted for that should have been there with the class, um, and then some of my roommates obviously weren't in class at the time, and they all got um, phone calls to their personal cell phones to make sure that they were okay. While it was a hectic situation, Kayla says she felt secure with how emergency personnel reacted and responded. The way that the school handled it, the way that the police handled it over here, I couldn't have felt more comfortable in such a scary and um, unnerving situation. All 93 students studying abroad from Ithaca College are safe and accounted for. Officials in London say Parliament will meet as usual on Thursday. Reporting in the studio, Isabel Garcia, WENY News.